Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a way in which you may never have thought about the narcissist. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. You may never have thought this way about the narcissist. You may never have thought about the narcissist in this way. It may never have crossed your mind. But narcissism is actually characterized by jealousy and envy. Yes. The narcissist is jealous of you, and that is why they are often so mean and competitive. It's why they're unkind, spiteful, and unfair, and why they drain you of everything you have. Yet they are unwilling to give or share things with you, because they feel discontented longing, aroused by your possessions, qualities, or luck. They desire to have what you have. And they may also fear that someone or something may take you away from them. Which is why they will monitor, stalk and harass you. And they may even try to isolate you. They can be jealous of you, even if they have the same things you have. Because they're not satisfied with what they have. They're not satisfied with you. They keep wanting more. They want more than what you have, and they don't want you to have anything, because they want to be the center of attention at all times. They want to have more attention and importance than you do. If you have a house, and the narcissist has a bigger house, they will still want your house. Even if they have enough money to buy 10 houses, they will still want the one that belongs to you. Because it's not just about the house. It's the feeling that you get from your qualities and possessions. They can't get the same fulfillment as you do. They can't be satisfied. So they want to deprive you, devalue you and harm you. Because that is the only way they can feel good about themselves. By putting you down. They create an illusion of elevation for themselves, when otherwise they would feel depressed. Because they're empty vessels, they have a void that can never be filled. Which is why they often cheat, lie and steal, in order to get what they want. Because they can't get it by being themselves. They're jealous of your good qualities. You have honesty, integrity, empathy and kindness. You're comfortable in your own skin. While they are shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Narcissists only victimize people who they are jealous of. People who have something that they want to possess. People who have something that they wish they had. They would not attack you if they weren't jealous of you. They're jealous of your joy and happiness. They're jealous of how everyone seems to like you. They're jealous of your heart, mind and soul. They are attacking you because you have something they cannot possess on their own. And when you really understand that, it will help you to deflect the pain, shame and cruelty back to where it should be. Which of course is to the narcissist who cause you to feel that way. And you will usually know exactly what they are jealous of because they will project it onto you when they rage. Or it may be apparent from what they have deprived you of or withheld from you. Narcissists always tell on themselves. Their words and actions reveal things about themselves that they did not intend to reveal. But what they want more than anything 
is the feelings that you feel. Your happy personality. Because narcissists do not experience genuine positive emotions. They're emotionally bankrupt. So they want to have your happiness. They want to be able to feel real emotions and real love. Which is why many victims who have been involved with narcissists eventually resemble a narcissist themselves. They have a blank expression and a lack of strong emotion because they no longer have a reason to smile. They feel hopeless. They feel dead inside. And there is no life in their eyes. Because they've had the life sucked out of them. Narcissists feed on our emotional reactions through their attention-seeker behavior to the point where we become desensitized. We no longer feel anything due to overexposure. So the main thing the narcissist is jealous of is our emotions, our ability to feel, because narcissists do not feel anything. Which is why they try to provoke other people to feel envy or jealousy. They want you to filter your emotions through them. So that they can live vicariously through you. Because that is the only way they can feel good about themselves. As if they think they have something that you want. Which is why they will often use future faking. Because they can't experience anything positive from engaging in anything. They have to get you to render your emotions to them, which is why they are so negative. Because by being negative, they are taken from you. And they're taken from you because they are jealous of you. They feel less than you. So they have to be better than you or they have to look better. Everything is a competition. And if they can't take it away from you, they will destroy it. Out of their jealousy of you, they will harm you in the most horrific ways. They will do things that you could never imagine doing, in to, doing to anyone. Because you're not like them. The things they do are unforgivable. It's so unacceptable that you cannot forgive them. And yet they do it because they're jealous. Because they're deeply insecure. They're so insecure that they want everything for themselves. But they have a void that can never be filled, so they're never satisfied. They want anything that sparkles and glitters, anything striking or unusual, anything that gets any of the attention they do so desperately need and crave. Which is why when they target you, they become extremely jealous of your achievements, as well as your job, your potential, your skills and abilities, and even your empathy. They become jealous of everything that you are because they can't be there. Which is why even when they're love bombing you, they hate you and they're plotting to take it away. They want to destroy everything that you have. And that is why it's exactly what they end up doing in the devaluation phase. They target your self-esteem, your confidence, and your beliefs about yourself until they paralyze you because they can't stand the fact that you're doing better than them. Maybe you earn more money than they do or you have better social skills. You connect with people on a deep level. You make them feel comfortable. While the narcissist resembles a robot, they're unemotional, they follow a script. You're all about finding your true self and understanding what you truly value as a person, and they're not. And because they can't be you, they try to steal your image and character. They mirror you, but they can't really feel it because they're only faking it. It's not coming from within like it is with you, which is why they inevitably try to destroy you. They poison drip you. They slowly poison you through small or subtle personal attacks over a period of time. They strategically try to drag down your self-esteem so that you don't have the confidence to seek a better option. 
They make negative comments about your job, your salary, your skills and your achievements. They put you down because they want to make you feel small and they know exactly what they're doing. They do the same things intentionally every day. They gaslight you about yourself until they rob you of your independent ability to act on your will. They assassinate your character. They destroy your identity. They destroy your feelings, wants and needs until you don't even know what you want anymore. You don't know what you like or what you don't like. They parasitically introject themselves in your mind so that you unconsciously adopt their ideas and attitudes. And then they become your inner voice. They take over your perception of yourself and your perception of the world and other people. Until you begin to believe their opinions more than your own. They get you to see yourself as a horrible person. As someone who doesn't know how to deal with people and situations. As though you're unable to think correctly. Because once a narcissist gets an idea in their head, they never give up. So then they have to convince you of their ideas. They have to own real estate in your mind. They have to take control of your thoughts so that they can parasitically feed off you. Until you completely forget about yourself and whatever you wanted or whatever you were trying to do. Because now they have brainwashed you into thinking that you are always the problem. So any opinions you have are always going to be bad and wrong. As though you're causing them pain and suffering. And by seeing yourself that way, it makes it almost impossible for you to function normally. So you begin to disintegrate because they're constantly eating away at you. They targeted you. They learned your vulnerabilities and then they used them against you to cause you to become useless but you're not fulfilling or expected to achieve your intended purpose or desired outcome. So essentially, they turn you into a shell of yourself and then they discard you when you are at your most vulnerable point. They leave you in a state of confusion where you don't know what is right and what is wrong or what is real and what is not real because everything is a mesh together. Nothing makes sense anymore. You're left questioning your own voice and your own emotions. And you assume that they must be right. Since they have convinced you that it is your fault. But it's actually because they're jealous. That is what makes someone to rob you of everything. And it's also what makes them convince everyone that you are the one who caused all the problems. They paint you as a villain. They assassinate your character. They make fabricated allegations. They speak ill of you with an ulterior motive. Because they hate you more than any positive emotions that they might leave you to believe that they have. Their hatred overrides their ability to feel positive emotions. It drives them to destroy their relationship with you because they just want to win. They want to make you suffer. They want to have an advantage over you when normally they would not. So they destroy your reputation and they isolate you. Either by devaluing other people to you or by devaluing you to them. Depending on whether or not they have managed to manipulate the other people. If they have, then they will devalue you to those other people. Because the narcissist wants you to depend only on them. Which makes it very difficult for you to leave. And that is what they want. It's why they run smear campaigns. It's why they try to get you fired from your job. It's why they destroy your reputation. Because they're jealous and they want to bring you down. By destroying years of your hard work. Because that makes them feel powerful. It's the closest thing they get to experience and joy. Because they're dishonest, immoral and evil. 
so they can't find fulfillment in regular things. They run a smear campaign and they isolate you so that people give you strange looks and they turn against you to reinforce your belief that you are the crazy one and to make you think that you are the cause of everything. Because if that wasn't true, then why would those people distance themselves from you? When really, it's because the narcissist is jealous and insecure. That's what makes someone to cut off your support. Because they want to see you suffer. They want to see you struggle. They derive pleasure from inflicting pain and humiliation on you. They enjoy turning a person who was once who once had a bright personality and was very ambitious and hopeful about the future into something into someone who has nothing and has no hope for themselves and their life which is why they attack your potential abilities and skill it's why they isolate you it's why they deliberately try to affect every aspect of your life but no matter what they do to you in the end, they will always blame you. They will say that you caused them pain because they want to blame you for your own abuse. They want you to feel responsible for everything that happened to you. And they want you to feel bad for them when you didn't do anything wrong because they want to win in every possible way. And to do that, they will do things that are immoral, dishonest and evil. Whether it is right or it is wrong, they do not care. Because they have no conscience. So they will not feel any guilt. And they will not blame themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.